what's going on guys this is highway of the ses dawn of dawn uh today i have a new loadout video for you because they have released a brand spanking new weapon uh two of them actually we're gonna make a video on the other one the heavy machine gun but this one is about the quasar cannon because this thing is absolutely ridiculously good uh it's essentially a expendable anti-tank that has a like five second cooldown to it i guess is the best way to describe it really good for taking out chargers we're gonna do this uh this fuel mission here just because uh, that was the first one i saw uh, we're gonna run my favorite two eagle loadouts my 500 kg and my airstrike although honestly with the quasar cannon you can probably get away without needing the 500 kg and instead use something like uh like the orbital laser uh to clear out big groups if you want to or even eagle cluster bombs uh but i'm going to run it anyway uh, and we're gonna use the quasar cannon and the guard dog rover with the stamina enhancement for my primary i'm taking the sickle we're using our scout armor and a stun grenade that's gonna be my loadout here the trailblazer trailblazer scout armor is kind of my go-to for solos right now just because the reduced visibility really adds a lot of uh room for stealthing and the speed and stamina uh, amounts really allow me to get away from fights i don't want to get stuck taking so pretty much the at least for me it's my my go-to now i have made videos where uh, I've ran medium armor. All right, we're going to call in our Quasar Cannon. We're going to call in our Guard Dog Rover. And uh, I'm tempted to go ahead and just call in a resupply, but... All right, so our stratagems are going to... We have the call down increase for our stratagems, it seems. So we had to keep that in mind for Eagles. Luckily, we brought stun grenades. So those will help us out quite a bit with that. Uh, okay, let's we'll start with this illegal broadcast. Now the Quasar Cannon can actually take out the illegal broadcast at range, so I don't even need to get close to it. I just need to spot the tower. It's just kind of hard in all this smoke. This planet has a really bad visibility, but I'm not too worried about it. So there's the tower right there. We're just going to hit that. And that's that taken care of. And we're going to move more towards the center of the map. I want to work my way up that way, but I'm going to go towards the center just so I can see if I can't spot something like the radar station. It's hard to see anything because of the uh, atmospheric spores. There's the radar station. How, how lucky. That's, uh, that's just game sense for you. We're going to go hit that. 200 meters. Now, the uh, Quasar Cannon, really good for fighting chargers and lots of uh, various big bugs. Like I said, it really feels like a expendable anti-tank with like a couple of seconds of cooldown that you don't even have to bother calling back in. It, it In my honest opinion, it makes the expendable anti-tank uh, completely... Um, I guess not necessarily useless, but it, it replaces it, uh, is the best way for me to, to say it, I guess. Because, like, the Expendable Anti Tank is still good, it's just. This is just better. Uh, I don't really know why you would run the Expendable Anti Tank as an alternative. I'm gonna back up just a bit, give myself some room for this bug breach. You always focus the hunters first, take them out. Okay, we're starting to get a lot of hunters, so we're gonna get more distance here, just so I can keep. I know as they come. Charger there. So one shot to the head will kill those chargers. It also... Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I ran into a group of hunters behind me. But I gotta pay attention. Usually my guard dog rover will tell me when that's happening by shooting behind me, but didn't alert me there and just again like an example of needing to be aware of your surroundings when you're playing hell divers we should be mostly good now and 
We're calling a resupply over by that radar station, and we're gonna get to work on it. Looks like we've mostly cleared, mostly cleared our issues out here. The uh, Quasar is also really good against uh, Bile Titans, not just Chargers. So whatever you run alongside it, you just got to make sure you can deal with uh, swarms of enemies, which is why I do like running the Sickle, because I can create distance and kill the things that are on me from range. Definitely uh, helps out quite a bit. Uh, I don't know if this thing will get nerfed, to be honest with you. It feels like... It maybe needs some kind of additional drawback uh, because of just how good it is. I think the main way it should be uh, tuned down a little bit is just reducing the speed at which it recovers, like making it take longer between shots. Doesn't need to be intense, but just a little more than what it is now because as it stands, you can get like kind of swarmed by chargers and still have a really good chance at making it out. Need to hit the button on this and be on my way. I'd like for them to call a bug breach down over here so that I can run away from it. So if you don't already know, there is a cooldown for bug breaches, like inherently. So I can get a bug breach called down and then still be able to move on and it won't be able to... Wherever I go next, there won't be a bug breach there for a little while, as long as I can escape the bugs from the, the previous one. All right, so we're approaching a stalker lair now. The issue with bringing the uh, stun grenades is that I can't clear the the outposts too easily. Um, I'll have to use my eagles. I have 500 kgs for it. Um, but you can also use the quasar cannon to clear those those outposts. Oh wow! Wow. Okay, I made them run into each other, but I couldn't get away on time. Hmm. There's a lot of chargers to suddenly appear. We're gonna uh, use our stun grenades here to keep them all right there and hit them with a eagle airstrike though. There's a fourth charger over there. I think they've actually, it feels like they've bumped up the charger spawns because of the quasar draw to be honest. We've got some survivors from that. That one has no front leg. Kill him. I can't navigate all these bodies. I just want my... Really? I just want my weapon, man. That's so sad. I'm gonna have to just get away, probably. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. My Quasar Cannon's stuck under a bunch of Charger bodies. And there are so many enemies after me. Oh, no. Oh. That's not where I want to... Actually, that's probably a better spot for that eagle, being just completely honest. We're going to circle back and grab that Razor like Cannon. Yeah, I definitely think they've bumped up the Don't Charger spawn rate. So almost, uh... Almost like they knew that people would run that Quasar Cannon and... Absolutely decimate Chargers, so they wanted to... Give the bugs a fighting chance. We're also going to grab my resupply before we continue on. I really didn't even need to take the fight that I took there. I'm just uh, enjoying how it feels to use the Quasar, to be 100% honest with you. Oh, they're all over my resupply there. I do want it, but I guess we'll move on. I mean, we have another one, so why not? Just get somewhere safe and call it down. I mean, right here seems like as good a spot as any. Uh, okay, so for the Stalker Lair, we can break the holes with the Quasar Cannon. I also have uh, one Eagle, so what I'm probably going to do is use the Eagle on one of the holes and then use the Quasar on the other one. Then my Eagle will come on cooldown. We'll be rearming, and then we can uh, work our way up and do the rest of this stuff up here. We'll go hit the Seaf Artillery in the other primary, and then... Uh, Continue moving on. Oh, 
Okay. Let's do, deal with the stalker layer. So we want to approach where we can actually see them. There's a big issue with stalkers with this uh, loadout is that once they're close, it's kind of a wrap for you. Sickle's pretty good at killing them at range. Bile Titan on my tail. Hopefully I don't have issues here. Now the 500kg is going to come from behind you, so to have the best chance of hitting that, it might hit this rock. I hope it doesn't hit that rock. That'd be very silly. Okay, yeah. So I have the best chance of hitting that stalker layer. I want to call it from here so that it'll kind of come in at the right angle. Uh, just keep that in mind when you're calling in the 500kgs that the bomb will drop at an angle from behind you. So that's the best way to not get it stuck on rocks and that kind of stuff. All right, moving on to the Seif artillery. My eagles are rearming. It's going to be minute 30 on that. We're making good time, good time. Um, we've cleared three objectives. Uh, the main objectives do have a... They are timed, so we have to keep that in mind. We don't have to... Oh, I should have paid attention to my map. I think I'm actually going to get away from him, though. Yeah, nice. One of the reasons I love the scout armor is you can get away from a situation like that, which otherwise would have definitely resulted in a fight. And because all those stalkers were so close, or those hunters were so close, could have even been very well a death. Grab the super samples right here on our way over. I can't sneak by these bugs. Or just looking this way, which I don't like. I can still get around them though. Ah, he spotted me now. Still all good. Alright, there's the Seaf artillery up there. A lot of bugs between me and it though, but I'll probably probably get by without much issue. My eagles are now back. That was really the main thing I wanted to have. Alright, now for Seaf Artillery, you want to be sure that you load up the shells next to the thing before you hit your uh, before you hit the terminal, you want to load up the shells next to the artillery cannon. You can switch to your secondary while you're bringing shells over to kind of throw them like I've been doing. That'll help you shave a lot of time. Alright, we're going to have to get into a fight here really quickly. Probably going to call a bug breach in. That's fine. I see a spore spear I can knock out very fast. Oh, did I miss it? I need to stop paying so much attention to it. There's a lot of samples over by the C4 artillery, so we'll keep that in mind too. Oh, not sure why that knocked me over. Usually these things don't ragdoll you. Oh, you're so fast. So healthy. There we go. Oh my god, that brute commander cooked me, man. Okay, well, bugs are all over here. Um, they're heading back towards the sea for artillery. I still have uh, three lives here, so I'm not too worried about it. Way. 
continue clearing out all these bugs. Get past this charger. I got a few left. Got my quasar. Knock that hunter out. Not. Why did the hunter not die yet? There we go. Knock this charger out. Alright, now we should be able to get back to the objective and get to work here. Alright, we've got three shells. Need two more. One more. Let's see at least the last last few. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna hit the terminal on my way over, I think. Uh call resupply and fight these hunters. Oh no, why'd I slide? I think I caught these guys while the cooldown was still going on for the next bug breach. A lot more coming. When stuff gets close like this, I like to switch to my redeemer just because I can get instant damage out and it actually is a very good secondary. It does have a lot of actual killing power and uh, I don't have to worry about it charging like with the sickle. Okay, now I think we can move on. We just got that spore spear over there in the primary here. I can't get away from some of these enemies. I'm gonna try the Quasar again on that Spore Spear. I don't know if I missed before or... Oh! Okay, that didn't happen. That that didn't happen. Don't worry, that didn't happen. 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 We're chill, we're chill, we're chill, we're chill, we're chill. Just gonna... Just gonna cut that from the video. That did not happen. <laughs> Let's try this one more time. There we go. There's the answer. It is definitely a projectile, but a very fast moving one. We got a final tank over there. Okay, they want to call another bug breach in, so I gotta keep that in mind that the timer is up. Guard Dog Rover managed to kill one of them while in the process of calling it in. There's so many bugs around me. I'm really going to wait until I absolutely have to take this fight. Uh, May have worked quick enough there to actually be able to just get out of here. Yep, we sure did. Let's roll. Okay, that's done. Now we're going to move on to the second sub objective. We have great time right now. Samples could be better, I guess. Um,. I mean, we got super samples. We got a few samples that we've been grabbing along the way, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm hoping that like by now people can infer that if you really want to grab samples and focus on samples, a lot of the builds and the way this, that I play offer you plenty of time to do so. Uh, you know, but we have 20 minutes left and we have one more sub objective in the primary to do. So in theory, I could run around the map to all these POIs and grab more samples and 
I could clear out outposts if I wanted to as well. Uh, not so great with this build. If you want to do outpost clears and do full clears, you can, uh, you can actually bring um, the regular frag grenades and that will essentially do the trick. You just need to recall and a resupply down. That's the large outpost before you engage them. Uh, but I'm bringing stun grenades because for me, Outposts don't really make much sense in their current state to focus, even from an EXP standpoint. If you're looking to gain levels the, as fast as possible, it's actually way more sensible for you to just do as many missions consecutively as you can, clearing out all the secondary objectives and primary objectives, than to try to go and clear out the outposts as well. And the reason why is because even the large outposts only offer you uh, 20 EXP to clear them. Um, and while that, like, seems decent, they do also take a decent amount of time to clear. Uh, especially at the higher difficulties with the higher bug spawn rates. So because of that, it not only reduces the amount of missions per hour you can do, or like per day, I guess, however you want to see it, per session, whatever. But it also increases the time that those missions take. Which, you know, when you are done with a mission, you get bonus uh, EXP for clearing it with time remaining. So you got to take into account that although you gain 20 XP, you also lose experience while doing that. Those outposts and uh, I don't know. It, it just makes a lot more sense um, level speed wise to stick to clearing primaries and secondaries rather than trying to full clear full clearing is like a a challenge thing that's how it should be viewed been uh, pretty fortunate with the bio titans as well now i'm not too worried about it with this build because we have on top of the quasar cannon i mean i have my 500 kgs and stun grenades so if we were running into more bio titans it definitely would not make this mission harder contrary to what may seem intuitive i guess By the way, earlier when I did actually... Oh. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. What? Hold on. There we go. I don't know why I was getting all confused there. I had it. Uh, just in case anyone didn't pick up on it earlier when I said I'm going to cut the part of me almost blowing myself up with the Quasar Cannon out. That was 100% a joke. I, I don't... I don't believe in cutting videos to make myself look better. Oh boy. But at some point I am going to start streaming this game. You guys can see these runs live and ask me questions if you have them. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I forgot my Eagles weren't off cooldown. Yeah, three more seconds. I kind of need to throw this now, bud, so you just walk down this way. That'd be good. All right, I'm just going to throw it over there and hope it hits him with a stun grenade. Will that do the trick? No. I was really hoping he'd be able to, like, climb down these rocks so I could throw my eagle at him, but... So for the... What I was saying earlier with stun grenades, you can just hit him with one of those and then hit him with that. And then, uh, I kind of mistimed them, but it's really easy to get them killed after that with the Eagle 500kg. 
Okay, there he goes. All right now, they called another bug breach in. I'm gonna call a resupply in right here. Just gonna clear out some of the bugs and finish up this primary aim or sub objective, I should say, technically. Like they all want to come from that direction, which is fine by me. A lot easier to keep all the bugs in front of you when you're fighting a lot of them. Oh, no! Don't ragdoll. Why? Why this? I really enjoy playing with the sickle um until the quasar came out i was running the uh arc thrower so much that it didn't really make sense <laughs> to be honest to use the sickle more um just because the arc thrower in my opinion didn't really have a good alternative to it unless you were running a objective clear build like with the grenade launcher however the Quasar Cannon now, it actually feels like, uh... Yeah, turn the valves. It actually feels like you need to, uh, or you have a good alternative you can use. We spent a lot of time fighting that bug breach. I didn't realize we had spent like six minutes fighting that and messing around. Or I guess five minutes, but still. Right, that should be all these, and then we just gotta go to the main objective. Which can be difficult, but... Ideally it won't be. Gonna be over here. Tanking map, southwest, far. One step closer to mission completion. Could have grabbed the resupply before I left, but... I'm already moving. I don't need it. I don't need it. Another thing I want to talk about is it's kind of strange. So when I was playing this game, uh, like just grinding it with friends, it always felt easier with friends. Until I started doing more solo content, like doing more videos, uh, running solo hell dive. And now it does actually kind of feel easier to run it solo. Uh, I don't know if that's just because when I'm playing with friends, I'm like trying to actually help them and not just leaving them in the dust. But I've had this discussion with a lot of people in, in my comments who've said that they find it easier to run solo games as opposed to group games. And until recently, I kind of, kind of agreed with them or uh, disagreed with them. But now, now I feel like it's a little easier for me to just run it solo, just because I have the techniques kind of down pat. I can just sort of get in and get it done, and then move on. So just an interesting little development there. Now, because of the increased um, stratagem time the drop down or the extract is going to now be four minutes instead of two we want to keep that in mind when trying to extract with samples we want to actually remember that we're gonna to have to kind of hold our own for a little bit i don't know why i'm not sprinting i don't know what happened to my my running animation there but not ideal oh, it's because it's like muddy over here i guess we're gonna get some more grassy areas we need to uh we get some eagle distancing here use that might be able to stun that charger with it i can kill these hunters for a bit
it's just so satisfying too like that's a big thing for the quasar cannon for me is like the sound the the feel of the gun like outside of it just being really good it it's got really rewarding uh feels to killing a charger with it you know it's not necessarily hard i'd say but Yeah, it just it feels feels good to get a kill with it. Up some samples. Go hit this terminal. We're gonna call this bad boy in right here while we're doing this. Oh, gotta go turn the valve. That bad boy is gonna be down down here somewhere. There it is. Done. Grab this. Grab those. Mission at ten minutes remaining. Okay. Ah, there's the patrol. I've been waiting for a patrol to arrive. one for a while but there was a charger there not coming this way which is interesting somehow this isn't enough noise to attract him over over here the game's uh, detection is actually really based on noise more so than sight so for example when you're sprinting you're making more noise than when you're walking or crouching which is why those tend to have good uh, stealth benefits One down. But, yeah, I guess these loud dropships coming in with this spewing of E710 doesn't really uh, register on the, the bugs frequency hearing volume I, or uh, range, I guess. I'll wrap this one up as well. Looking good. And we have time to kill before the drop. Tempted to go scope it out and see if it is. I can just try it from early. Just to make the video shorter. You have ignited the torches of liberty. Extraction awaits. Um, yeah, I mean, let's just go and, let's just go and check it out. Let's see if it's one of the extracts that has a rock that you can sit on top of. That's like a safety rock and if it does, then we'll extract early. And if not, we'll just, uh, we'll run around. Honestly, I'll, what I'm probably going to do is at this point, I'm just going to time skip the, the video. Um... I am going to go and just get some POIs, I guess. Best thing for me to do. Okay, so here we are at extraction. Um, got myself into a little bit of a pickle ahead of the extract time. Uh, not just this pile time. There were a lot of hunters over there that I'm actively trying to get away from. That's going to come in handy. That pile tightened down. Dropping a pit, southwest, three hundred meters. Okay, we're currently kind of in the clear. Three minutes. Three minutes till extract. I really wish I had stun grenades. I've used all my stun grenades trying to get out of the situation from before, but... Uh-oh. It's a long route around.
trying to avoid patrols while we wait for this extract because again we have no we have no grenades so I'm just trying to kind of run around and avoid causing too much of a stir Extract those bugs are kind of trailing me. I go this way. I can't throw them off a little bit. Throw them off for a bit. Playing it cool, you know. I'll tighten there. Using uh, primary objectives like this, you can kite really effectively. There's a lot of stuff for them to get stuck on. Did I leave myself a resupply up here by chance? I did not, it seems. Okay, one minute till extract. I should be okay. So again, uh, waiting until the timer fully runs out before you extract is the best way to get out with samples uh, when you're running solo, because otherwise, you know, you're going to be stuck at that little extract circle getting absolutely swarmed and uh, focused down and eventually, you know, you're going to get overwhelmed. Whereas this way I can use like the entire map to kind of kite around and then only go to the extract like right when the pelican is landing so that I can actually uh, make it into the extract. I'm not actually sure how they spotted me from that distance, but sure enough, they did. Either way, it should be, we should be good enough here. I'm gonna try to keep them a little bit away from that drop zone right there. This is gonna be a much hotter extract than I like to do. But I can see where the back of the Pelican is, so I'm gonna run towards that. We should be good to go here. There we go. Yeah, sorry for the time skip. Just so you know, nothing really happened uh, during that time. I mean, I, I ran and collected a couple more samples, but I got swarmed by hunters to the point where I was just running around in circles, kind of, and avoiding patrols. Um, but yeah, anyway, base arc cannon, really good. Really strong at taking out chargers. Uh, if you want to clear outpost with this loadout, simply switch to impact instead of stun grenades. I like the stun grenades just because they allow me to have better eagle strikes. Um, can do a lot of fragging with this build. Uh, very, very good. Um, feels very fun to use the quasar cannon as well. I'm going to make a build on the uh, heavy machine gun next. Uh, that That one seems to be... Uh, I haven't seen much on it, and I, I've only played with it a little bit, but it seems pretty fun to use, if I'm being honest. Um, definitely good in groups. Uh, but as for the Crazy Cannon, super good solo or with uh, other players. I'd say probably even better with other players, because you can use your stun grenades to really be an elite killer with this build. But uh, yeah, let's see what we are looking at for our frags here. 606, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you all next time. All right, take care.